Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to remake that sequenced arpeggiator type sound there. Uh, quite useful for maybe sort of more ambient, chill out styles. You can actually download the patch directly from the MassiveSynth.com website. There's a link on the screen to download that patch directly from our website, and we're going to recreate it here anyway. Get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel if you're not already, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So let's go ahead and recreate this chill out sequence sound. I'm going to start off then by creating a new sound in Massive. Let's just move over to this oscillator section here. So in the first oscillator slot, I'm going to have this cicada wavetable. Uh, quite an experimental kind of wavetable sort of sound really. I'm going to pull the wavetable position round to just past halfway. And uh, load up oscillator 2 next. So that first oscillator is more acting like a kind of white noise on the sound really. So oscillator 2 now. I'm going to keep this as a square saw 1. I'm going to take the pitch down by 1 octave to minus 12. I'm going to detune this oscillator by kind of point 0.4 and then turn on oscillator 3 and uh, I'm going to go for this multiplex wavetable in here and again I'm going to take the pitch down by one octave and uh, detune this kind of point 0.6 the other direction so oscillator 2 and oscillator 3 have got that slight detune thing going on and let's get straight into some kind of modulation here Oh, actually, oscillator 3, just convert this to bend minus plus mode, bring the intensity down to about 3 quarters of the way around, and pull this wavetable position round to about 2 thirds of the way there. So, what we can go ahead and do now is bring the amp of all three oscillators down to zero, and uh, what I'm going to do is, for starters, this first LFO, I'm going to sync this, set the ratio to 1 over 4, and use this to modulate oscillator 2. So click and drag the crosshair this LFO over to the amp for the first modulation slot on the amp of oscillator 2. Click and drag up. So again, that kind of movement on oscillator 2. We turn the amp down on oscillator 1 and 3, so we're not going to hear them until we start modulating that amp. So I'm going to go to this performer here now, or this second LFO slot, sorry. Convert this into a performer. And hold in shift, click and drag the crosshair list performer, drop it in the first modulation box on the amp of both oscillator 1 and oscillator 3. And uh, let's click and drag up. So we're applying some kind of amp modulation on these oscillators using this performer. But let's set this, um, let's set this performer up, let's sync it, and take the ratio to 1 over 8. And this X phase sequence, bring that all the way to the top. So we've got this kind of sawtooth wave controlling this performer. We could actually detune oscillator one a little bit as well. So we've got that kind of rhythm going on. And uh, let's set up a filter in this first filter slot in here. Use a low pass filter. Bring the cutoff down to just, you know, right right down really, almost all the way down. Bring the resonance down as well. Maybe have a little bit of resonance. And let's use this same performer to control the cutoff frequency of this filter. So dragging this, the crosshair, this performer. First modulation box and the cutoff frequency here. So you're getting that kind of rhythm going on. And we could use a macro here as well if we wanted to sort of automate that filter. So we can rename this filter. And what we need to do next is just set up some effects in here. So I'm going to have a sync delay. Quite extreme sort of delay, so quite high feedback, quite a uh, dry wet sort of halfway. The damp's right up, so we've got a nice bit of top end in that delay. bit of reverb as well, push that density and colour right up. And so one final thing really to finish the sound off is um, setting up the arpeggiator really, so setting up a bit of a hook in there. So you can convert this third LFO into a stepper, 
hold shift, click and drag the crosshair and drop it in the first pitch modulation box on all three oscillators and then holding alt or option, click and drag up. So applying plus 12 semitones amount of pitch modulation there. And we're not gonna have an effect on the sound until we start dialing in some values in this stepper here. So to create that sort of sequence what I had it playing at the start, it was quite sort of happy, you know, chill out sequence. And so I kind of used a minor kind of scale really to create that vibe. So what I'm gonna do in here is go plus four semitones on steps five, six, seven, and eight. You notice I activate the snap to grid function, which means I get exact values in this stepper. So I'm going to go plus four semitones. We're going to get that kind of major sort of um, kind of key here. And uh, I'm just going to do the same thing for the last, well, steps 13, 14, 15. I'm going to go plus four. And then the last one, step 16, I'm going to go plus 90, plus, I'm going to go plus nine there. So. I'm actually going to bring the ratio down to 1 over 4. So it's a bit slower, that sort of uh, riff. Get that lift there. Drops back down and back up 4 semitones. And then and the final step is plus 9 semitones. So it's kind of like a major sort of scale what we're working with there. And that's the sound done. And then all I did here was on this second sequence sound this is playing a c2 note and then in here i've got i've duplicated that patch and i've got a c3 note and then i've just done i've added a bit of width using the isotope imager and also rolled off any kind of low end so you hear this second sequence kind of kick in <laughs> Just gives it a little bit of a lift when it kicks in. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, just get in touch, let us know. Of course, you can download the patch directly from the massivesynth.com website. Uh, whilst you're there, just check out all the other stuff we've got on there featuring native instruments, massive. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.